Bam! All right. Bourbon quest. Ooh, what's the time on that? Eh. I think we should be good. All right. Stay hydrated, my friends. All right. So, where are we at tonight? We are over in the North Division. And what do we have? Uh-oh. We got Jack Daniels. Single barrel. Special release. Heritage barrel. Barrel. Hail to the Yale. That was the first special release single barrel I think they did. Pretty sure it was definitely the first one that I got. I was fortunate to where I know I've had one that we killed. Can't remember if I had another one or not. This might be my third one. It's definitely my second one. I know we killed one and then it was like funny story on that it was like two years after that came out one of my uh, uh, store owners I have a relationship with was like hey uh, you want a Jack Daniels uh, heritage I'm like yeah I was like <laughs> he was telling me that I guess the, uh, the distributor hired a new uh, warehouse store manager and I guess he came from the grocery business which he figured they gotta even be a little bit tighter on their warehousing and stuff because the food will go bad at some point whereas the whiskey really wrong anyways so like they found a case of the Jack Heritage like stuck in a corner that someone missed or overlooked so yeah i got it like two years after it came out it was wild my benefit on that all right so anyways that's the uh the jack daniels uh single barrel special release heritage uh it is going up against uh what is the proof on that one i think it's 100 yeah 100 proof uh going up against calumet farms uh single rack black 16 year old 106 proof uh, triple crown winner citation hell yeah all right we'll see I don't think I was a big fan of that one when I first had it so again don't pay attention to what glass is near or behind which bottle they've been mixed up rearranged shuffled to where I don't have a clue as to which is in which glass uh, we're doing it blind uh, using a very high tech sophisticated dangerous proprietary process approved by nasa <laughs> that's a bunch of bullshit anyways let's get right to the whiskey try to power through all right dun, 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 dun. yeah definitely sweet banana cherry vanilla caramel Beautiful nose on that. Right amount of proof. Not uh, not overpowering. Great balance and flavor on the nose. Mm. Mm. Love that nose. All right. Yeah. Not as the nose is definitely better on number one. This one's a little bit more. A little bit more sour, a little bit more oak. Not as well balanced on the nose. Kind of a little bit of ragged edges. A little bit of baking spice. Yeah, definitely the nose is the winner on on the nose. All right, let's uh, let's go to the palate. Oh yeah. Cheers, my friends. Yeah, I definitely get that oak, banana, vanilla caramel, good mouthfeel, decent proof, not overpowering. I do think it's Fairly well to above average um, 
as far as balance goes. Hmm. Alright, second sip. Man, a little bit. Not a little bit. Too much oak. A little bit less banana on the second sip. Not as well balanced on the palate than what I thought it was on the nose. Oh man, I don't know. These have been blowing my mind lately. All right, cheers, Bourbon Quest. Definitely sweet, vanilla, caramel, a little bit of chocolate. Oh. Again, I didn't think it'd be this close. Oh, maybe I'm just getting old and tired. This is. Alright, I'm gonna cleanse the palate and run it back. I think I'm leaning towards number one right now, but it's a lot closer than I would have thought. I definitely like the nose better on number one. Again, not, not overly so, they're fairly close. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Yeah, definitely some chocolate, vanilla, caramel, oak, decent mouthfeel. I don't think it's that well balanced. I don't think I like that combination. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Alright, so um, you made it this far. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And after you subscribe, or if you've already subscribed, get a friend, get a spouse, get a neighbor to also subscribe. Help grow the channel. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, helps the channel out a great deal as we try and wrap up those uh, subscriptions to where we can get monetized. That would be fantastic. God knows I could use it. I need new tires of the car. You know what I'm saying? I need more whiskey in my life. <laughs> no, I probably don't need any more whiskey in my life. I got plenty. But we will continue to get new stuff. That's for sure. And replace old stuff that we like and not buy stuff that we don't like. That's part of the bourbon quest is... Part of my bourbon quest is honestly trying to... Because when I started it, I bought anything and everything I could get my hands on. Now I'm a little bit more discerning. Um, I no longer just buy anything and everything that's available on the shelf. I've come to find that, and there's exceptions, but I've come to find that my my three go-to states are Kentucky, number one, Tennessee, probably number two, Indiana, number three. Outside of that, somebody has to convince me. Like... I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I, I do love uh, Smoke Wagon from Vegas, or so Nevada, although it's MGP juice, so that really is Indiana, just aged out in Nevada. That's okay. I'm not a big Texas whiskey fan, although I know a lot of people are. 
Um, I got talked into trying 13th Colony. Wasn't that impressed, at least the two that I had. I heard that they're, whatever it is, double oat or honey finished or something supposed to be really great, but yeah, nothing. I mean, I'm not going to do anything from Florida because, number one, I'm from Tennessee and we don't like the Gators. <laughs> just kidding. I love I love you guys from Florida. I'm just messing around. Um, but no, like, and then, what, you got uh, High West at, uh, what, Colorado? Yeah, okay. But yeah, I mean, usually I'm going Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, and somebody has to convince me otherwise so all right i don't know why i said all that um so yeah subscribe ring oh then ring that bell for notifications that way you don't miss a damn thing here on bourbon clothes because we'll be moving on to the second round very very shortly um yeah uh then yeah smash that like button it helps youtube algorithms get it out to more people on youtube whiskey tube Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Jack Daniels Heritage or even any of their other single barrel special releases. I've had them all. Um, Heritage. Yeah. Probably top three. Because you got to go Koi Hill. You got to go single barrel barrel proof rye. And then probably, yeah, the Heritage. I wasn't a fan of their latest one, the Twice Barrel. That was the one I didn't like. All right, enough about that. I know you want to know the results. So do I. So let's do it right here on Bourbon Quest. Dun, 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 dun. The winner is, oh, hail to the yeah. The winner is Mr. Jack Daniels from Tennessee. Takes out a triple crown winner, Calumet Farms Citation. <laughs> All right, yeah, there you go. That's what I would have thought. That was honestly closer than I thought. Again, and we're still in the first round, and we've had, we've had. This is the second year that we've done this, and honestly. They're, these have been closer games and matchups than the previous year. Uh, we'll see how how things progress as we go into the second round. But, I mean, we've had very few blowouts. Most of these have been pretty damn close matchups. So, I think that's a good thing. Um, probably... Gives a little bit more legitimacy to my mash madness. Because we all know that I'm mad. <laughs> no, I'm not mad. I mean mad in the good way, not the bad way. Whatever. But, no, I think there was a lot more blowout winners. At least in the first round. Maybe even, well, we, we, we're not even through the first round yet. We're almost there. But... Yeah, I think this year's competition has been a lot more evenly paired. So maybe I'm getting better at matching up things, which by better, I mean also worse because it makes it a lot harder to pick the winners. Whereas I think last year, you know, at least half, if not more, were easy picks. I, I thought I've only had a few. I don't even know if I've had a full handful of easy picks in this year's tournament. They've all been excruciating hard to pick which is the better whiskey. So I mean, with that being said, I think that's a good thing. I think I'm doing I'm doing a better job at matching these up. I'm doing a better job at tasting, nosing, whatever. Um, but I also think. And more importantly, and most importantly, is hopefully these whiskey manufacturers are doing a better job of producing good to great whiskey instead of garbage. I'm calling you out, Castle and Key.
I hope you. I, I'm going to give you another chance once you get to double digits on your batch because your batch number two, the first one I had, had me vomiting in my mouth. So, hate to say that, but it was true. And I love the distillery. Love the. I don't know. That has nothing to do with this tournament. You don't want to hear that. All right. So the winner is Jack Daniels single barrel special release heritage. Hail to the yell. Uh, so long, Calumet Farms. Maybe forever, because I'm not sure if I'm going to buy your brand again. We'll see. All right. Because I wasn't, I was not a fan of this at all. The first one, like I thought, I forgot, I know I've had 14, 15, and 16. And I ranked them 14 first, 15 second, and 16 last. So, like, with that trend, I don't even know if I'm going to buy you again. But it was better in this competition than I would have thought. Yeah, just a little too oaky for me. And a little bit of ragged edges. And I don't think extremely well balanced. Yeah, that's a pass. Um, even though blind, it was a lot closer than I thought. But the Jack Daniels Heritage. Shout out to my son, Braden. If you want to contact your old man, here I am. Mm. All right, that's a wrap. We got to go. But remember, as always, that my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a wrap, yo. Mm. Mm -mm.